Lloyd, firstly welcome to the, the, the launch of Rams Fan TV. We, we're trying to, trying to encourage the, the younger players to, to, to come in and, and at the youth level and, and just be a part of this, hence why we've got uh, Alicia and Jed um, is going to be doing the youth side, so um, yeah, welcome along and, and well done. Huge result today, I thought. Um, yeah. Yeah. Three points against a struggling side. But, Talk to me again about half time. Where we're um, going up okay, so yeah, so so Nilna, we we spoke before the game um, about a, a common phrase that you've probably been hearing shout from the sideline that game management. Um, I talk. It, I do it, it, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, our game management, and we said before that look, you know, we've got to be patient. We don't we don't change our philosophy, and I don't like that word. We don't change our principles. We keep working and keep playing the ball. We keep playing if we can, um, and. Spells and periods of games which we've identified that before first the end of first half or end of the half, there's always periods where we have been caught out. And no matter what we do, if we we don't we don't have a, a lull in the last five minutes of a half. So coming in nil nil, we're saying right, okay. Defensively, we had to make sure we were a bit more organised. We left ourselves very very open at times. Could have been four all, I think, at time. It was a cap was, time, uh, one it? <laughs> So and once we then dealt with that. I knew that we would score. There was no, there was no question that we, that we would have scored. I'm, um, I'm glad you felt that because don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Well. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. Knew in Con yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. Me and Richard up I there. think that once they then set up the halftime team, to always keep things defensively tight. Yeah. Make sure that we are. I'm not going to talk tactically, but we we identified a few things that we needed to work on. Defensively, you know, said so make sure they're compact, etc., etc., um, and be patient. Be patient. They dropped off and left themselves sort of said, in a situation where they almost went everyone behind the ball, yeah. and it was a case of being patient, move and manipulate the ball. It's a great phrase that Muzz has brought into the t into the into the into the changing room. Move the ball, move the man. And if you keep moving the ball, the phrase, the picture, the picture changes within the pitch, and all of a sudden, then openings are created. And once you've got the players and the ability of the Paxmans, the Rorys, and the Chapmans, it was only a, it was only a matter of time. And once one came, we always felt that yeah. Because one thing I noticed was that that. For, we kept the ball for three, four minutes. Yeah. And and it was, but it was short. It was controlled. It was. It wasn't rushed. It wasn't. No, that, absolutely. It wasn't that going. No, no, absolutely. It looked, I think it what what it, what it does what it does do is it does set up that opportunity mm. to go bigger. There's nothing wrong with a long pass. Absolutely, There's nothing yeah. wrong with it. Um, like you say, you're setting the picture up so that if a picture changes, that you then see something and someone is isolated one v one. Chapman, for example. Then all of a sudden you've got that in the locker. If you keep doing that, and you keep doing that, then it becomes predictable. So move the ball, move the man, keep the ball moving, and eventually, like I said, a period of time, as I said, openings created, and that's it. Great, like, I'm going to take that into yeah. my commentary. You to know that. Yeah, you yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll I know. Yeah, I'll listen, look forward uh, to listening to it. Yeah, you will. But uh, I, I, sure, when you say like, move, move man, move player, the, the, you, your young lads who you brought in today, Jacob, yeah. TJ, yeah. outstanding. They were, they were absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah. They were absolutely brilliant. Um, TJ is TJ is a player of extreme energy, mm. and even at this level, all, just having extreme energy will get you somewhere. The fact is, is that he can play, he can score goals, he creates, he tackles, he wins headers. He is a player, a bit like the same as Billy Monday, same as Jack, these younger, younger kids mm. that are even younger than the Paxmans and the Rorys, and, and you think to yourself, and, and that's it. The academy, the academy is setting setting them up, and yep. and I, and and I'll, I'll 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 be the first to say I've been guilty yep. in the past of of thinking that we should we are sitting we should be up with the Greenwiches. Yeah, the yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong, and and, and, and I understand that, and I, and I and I do. I think that, like you say, it's walking before these boys can run. That's 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 key. I see these boys. Pretty much said the Jacobs and the TJs every day in the academy, mm -hmm. and and that they're going to be players. The reality is, the reality is, is that this is not just a short-term fix. And maybe the success, and I've said this before in the press, maybe the success we had last year, the success we had last year may have been, may have been a false. What's the right word? What's the way of saying it? it may have been. It may have given us. False maybe a little hope. bit of false hope, yeah. and maybe a little bit, maybe just a little mm. bit, which was great. We got a great response from the players, and they're open to, now all of a sudden, they, you know, there is always a little. It's how can we now set a platform that then we can build yeah. on, and, and that's everything we want. And we've spoken and, and after games when we've won, when we've lost, 
and, and it is and I've taken it on board of, yeah. of what you of what we yeah. talk about totally yeah. because and you're here to listen back to the commentary today yeah. and it, it was it was just another level. It looked like a, a, a confidence. I, I think that's the thing. I mean, it was easy. I mean, that, that easy to say, but they were on a nine game unbeat, a uh, nine game run of not winning. We were on a five. So whether it's four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, the reality is that your confidence is probably going to be low. That's it. But it's not about for me. For me, it's harping on the same principles. Be brave. Move the ball. Keep doing to the same principles that we've been we've been working on, and the same things that we've been doing. If you panic and you're not brave, you're in trouble. Mm. And do the basics get, right. Do the basics mm. right. Yes, and then all of a sudden you add, you implement those little ideas. We talk about game management. If you probably watched the, watched the game for the last five minutes, the first half, we went corners. We aren't conceding the goal. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's something that I identif identify statistically that we are conceding goals at this time of during games. It's not happening today, and it didn't. No. And as I said, all of a sudden, the same thing in the last five minutes to go. We're not conceding goals there. And what are we doing? We're doing this, this, and this. And all of a sudden, it, then, it, it paints the picture in their players' minds and they buy into it, which is great. And that's it. And then, we, although that we, we do rely heavily on the front three, yeah. what a talent. What an absolute, absolute dream to watch. When, when they're interlinking with each other, when they're close, when they're tight, scoring goals. They, no, one, no one wants to let the other player. They're, they're not greedy. In no, not at all. Or, well, not I've at got, all. I've got not a better all. chance. Not at all. A absolute, absolute, chance, absolutely so. right. Absolutely right. Um, you know, those boys will always, always score goals. And, although, and I said that in the press last week when we went to two or three games without conceding. Mm. Like, we don't have to worry about our front line. No. What we have to do is clean, clean, keep clean sheets. We keep clean sheets and we're, and I said, it, we, you know, we take the Corinthian casuals game where things were, um, our game management was poor. Um, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you leave yourself open. And even though they're 2-0 up against Corinthian Casuals and they hadn't conceded many goals, it, once one or two went in, you're thinking, oh, it's the same old did, did you see, uh, so again, sort of changing, going yeah. back to that as we've sort of moved into it, did you, in, in a, any of your game, your match preparations, did you ever see yourself in a position at 2-0? Today? Uh, no, sorry, at the uh, Casuals? At Corinthian, yeah. You yeah, did? Uh, absolutely. And absolutely. Two, two mistakes there. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, again, and I don't mean to sort of harp on about it, but mm. we said, I said before the game to the boys, is that if we cut out mistakes, mm. if we cut, and even looking at the chances that they had today, 90% of them from our own mistakes. Mm. Our yeah. own mistakes. And, and that, that's the thing. And you limit those mistakes, you cut out those mistakes, and how can we cut them out? How can we, cut, how can we not only you know, physically and, and tactically, mm. how can we mentally get into those players' heads that we've got to deal? Yeah. We don't concede goals at this time during that. And all of a sudden, then it's sort of built, you know, there's something to work as a platform. Yeah. And that's you, the, you mentioned mental, it is that with, our, with the lads we've got, because they're young, yeah. and, it, and it's about having the experience around them. And Luke Wheatley, obviously, yeah. senior player coming. Uh, Ollie injury, Gray Ollie, next week. Ollie yeah. Gray coming back. Yeah. Um, they're going to find it tough to well, get inside. Of course they are. Of course they are. Of course they are. And, mm. and, and, that, and, that's, and that's what we want. I mean, we could have eased, uh, we've, we've looked at players that identified to try and bring in. For one reason or another, it hasn't, it's been difficult to do that. Um, financially, there's players that here that, that oh, should we say players that are looking at financially, and I'm thinking, I don't, I don't want to do that. No. I don't want to do that. I know I've got Billy Monday, and I've got TJ, and I've got yeah. Jacob. And, and those players for me, and he was talking about a club as our principles, as I keep saying, and conversation with the chairman every day, mm. that's the route that we're going down. So it will be a little bit up and down at times. And, and I completely understand that the fans want a situation where they want, you know, the, the, for what we set, or should we say, the, what we looked at last year, is that they do want to be, oh, great, you know, we should be up there, we should be in the playoffs. Let's, let's keep perspective, mm. because these players here that we have, in a year or six months or six, whatever it be, it could be six weeks, but in six or six months, whenever that time comes, there are players that are going to that are going to be beneficial to Ramsgate. They're going to be better, and they're, and they're going to be a force to be reckoned yeah, with. There's agree. no question I, about that. I totally agree, and uh, I think I'll say I've, I've been guilty in the past, but I, I'm just so passionate about yeah, of course, one hundred percent, and, and, and 100%. We're, we're we're fully fully backing you, fully backing the squad, yep, the great. academy, the the. We come up the under twenty threes and and they do a great job as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, the support the club's got is brilliant. Yeah, and absolutely. Uh, and, 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 and that's the thing. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean the fans are great, and I think they buy into that concept as well. Um, and they know where we are. They know where we are as a club. They know what the route that we're going down. And as I said, it's just you know we'll make sure that we deliver that. And and 
if everyone's on sort of board with that, yeah, it'll be, well, at times it'll be difficult. Of course it is, we've just gone five games unbeaten, but now all of a sudden we've changed that. Yeah. And you see now the buzz, and then all of a sudden, when you know, you get young players that are coming involved, um, playing, and the academy that we've got coming up, there's more younger kids coming up and available soon. Like I said they're 16, 17, 16 year old lads that we've got training with us at the moment in the academy, and you look at them and go, in another year, so they're going to be the next TJ, they're going to be the next Billy Monday. Absolutely. So the future's bright. Absolutely, and, and I won't keep you too long because obviously we're going to celebrate no, with the cool. lads, but on a lighter note, I did actually get an injury as I celebrated that first did you really? goal, so I might did you need really? to go to the yeah, cool, yeah. room. So that's so, fine, that's fine. Uh, but, uh, Excellent. Thank you so Top much man. for your time. No worries, no worries. We, we'll be here to support Excellent. 100% Appreciate it. every Excellent. away game. Yep. We've got you. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you, Thanks, mate. Appreciate Brilliant. it. Thank you.